Okay, Tesser, let's try this again. My device doesn't want to work with me today, apparently. I actually recorded two other battles, uh, and those didn't take. And I've also recorded half of this commentary once. And there's also no sound. So, well, I mean, at least you'll be able to hear me. So they updated the effects and graphics on the, um, or textures, rather, on the bulwark. And they look very nice, as you'll see once we get into the battle. We've been getting mostly Beacon Rush this round, <coughs> or this go-around with the test server. So I open with the Carnage, because I want to see if it's still relevant, especially with the premium weapons. And, well, since I've done some of this commentary once already, uh, Exodus with the Hellburner, looks like a rather smart setup. Uh, but since I've done this commentary once already, I know what I need to talk about. There, I'm not sure if it's a bug, or if the shock trains are really just that broken, but when chaining to other robots, they actually break everything. They uh, hit stealth robots, which I mean, I guess in theory could make sense, uh, if it's like an electrical current type thing, like if we're talking lore, but they also pass straight through all of the bulwark's defenses, its energy shield and everything, so I don't think that's supposed to be uh, a feature of the shock trains. I think that's legitimately a bug. And it's a bug that makes them even more dangerous than they already are. Because if they're just passing through shields, then they're a 500 meter ember, and that's really unnecessary. So we're in the bulwark. It looks pretty. It has embers on it, so it's going to be very dangerous. And as you'll get to see in a second, I'm not sure if it's just because the other players can't aren't uh, their aim isn't on me good but I literally am taking fire from like three different players and I shuffle my shields I think and none of them can take me out I mean I'm I think that's an Exodus inquisitor which I guess would just be a death button inquisitor is an ion something, and a uh, hoverbot. Are the ions on the hoverbot? Perhaps. I think I killed a hoverbot, too. Yeah. And then I get taken out. By shock trains, interestingly enough, it would seem. And then I bring out the Exodus bulwark, and this doesn't last long at all. If you look, my shield is up. It's going down. But then, where all my health go? It just evaporated. I, I had, like, full health. I might need to go back and watch that again a couple times. I'm, I'm not sure what happened. So there's my Exodus Inquisitor. I'm used to running medium range setups, so a close range hit and run setup like this is foreign to me, and I frankly don't know what to do with it. I mean, I of course know the basics, but there I get hit by shock trains in the air when I'm in stealth. So that's ridiculous. <coughs> but then of course I should be running away, and I'm not. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, voice isn't great in the morning. So there's the Dragoon Bulwark. Dragoon Bulwark, I mean, I was having a lot of success with this bot, but that's mostly because like three out of the four matches I did were on Yamantau. So it's kind of obvious. That and the Dragoon is pretty powerful. Uh, medium range Magnum is very powerful. As is whatever that Butch is running, the Exodus and the Dragoons, is very dangerous. As you can see, I mecked out uh, pretty quickly. 
uh, of course, in part because of dumb, mis- dumb decisions, but also because one of my bulwarks was just kind of eaten. Uh, so I actually cut this game off in a little while because we lost anyway, and I wasn't playing, so I figured it'd probably be best just get into another game. So I figure I'd try one of these dang shock train specters. Frankly, I like the other name better. What was it? The Exorcist or something? I missed that name. I think it was more fitting, because that bot is just mean. Very dangerous. Okay. So we're into another game. And, of course, I'm opening with this again, because it's my fastest bot in my setup. And we're in Beacon Rush, so you'll want to start out with the speed, of course. So there's that light rain or light uh, hard point um, scourge, and there's also a lot of um, striders with interesting setups. Death button strider would be dangerous. And this guy I think is shooting me, so I just say hi. So of course you got to take center on this map because. The first team that takes center essentially wins. Uh, so, like, the only way I can find in Beacon Rush to beat the other team when they've taken center is to, like, mech them out. And that takes just brute force and just overwhelming them, sometimes with range, sometimes with just dangerous setups. So, the embers are, of course, very... Very dangerous. I should definitely try and get some of these on the live account. On my live account, anyway. So we just keep pushing. And it seems that the Bulwark Shield does protect against Emperors, which is interesting. Because embers were supposedly supposed to be able to go through anything. They go through ants and they go through physical shields. So I just wonder, I just wonder what the heck the bulwark shield is made out of. So back into the death button inquisitor. Uh, I'm just trying to stay back because there's, of course, a uh, hell burner. And i am got to let those guys through, because I can't go as fast as they can. And so there's a specter. I don't know if the specter I'm taking out right now is the specter, but there's a specter I noticed in this game that was also using the shock trains, which I do not have any of those on the live account, and I, there it is. I'm not going... I have no intention of getting them, because I just... I think they're... kind of ridiculous. Kind of... represent everything that's wrong with war robots. But I just wanted to kind of... just... try it once. So I could kind of... to see how broken it really is. So the first thing I of course do is take out their shock train specter. Because of course that's the biggest threat right now. And got him. I don't know about these uh, kill double kill things in normal game modes. They're fun in free for all, but I feel like they get a little silly in the other game modes. I don't know. When I first started playing this game like a year ago, I just really liked, like, I mean, being a mech game and how it kind of felt like it had physics and these robots could exist and, like, they were big and how it was just kind of real. And then in, like, the last Halloween event with the skeletons and, like, hanging skeletons and stuff, that felt like it could be real. But then with, like, the Christmas thing with the gingerbread houses and now this, it, it just, I don't know. 
there was like an element of role playing that was kind of fun. I think I think somebody just woke up. But anyways, it just it feels like they're making it kind of a cheesier game. And so I think that guy froze. So I just kind of flashed my shield at him. I was hoping he'd flash his at mine so I could kind of see how the physical shield works. But he's just gone, I think. So I carry on. And so they almost pushed us out of center with their shock trains. And then I pushed them right back out with mine. So now this is kind of sad. So he's got redeemers on that thing, it would seem. And so he takes out my energy shield, and I put my physical shield. And there is just absolutely nothing he can do against my embers. And this, this just feels unfair. But I mean, it is premium stuff against old stuff, so I guess that's just kind of showing how unbalanced some of these things are. And so back into the Dragoons. So I don't know how much of this game is left. Um, I should probably keep talking because there's no sound. Um, but overall, I think even with like the new Exodus and the new Bulwark and having the premium weapons available to them, they are still very strong. And I mean, I think they're at least as strong as a premium as premium stuff should be but i think they also do well like to show just how broken the shock trains are and how they should probably be reined in a little more and so i see there's a player that's kind of, I think they're frozen. They might have gotten disconnected. I'm getting all kinds of lightning. But I kind of want that kill, so I'm going to go back and try and find them again. Even though I'm being zapped a lot. So I'm just trying to peek. They can't get me here. Look at all that lightning. I think those are ions. And I found him. Got him. And I don't care, so I'm just going to get some extra damage. Because this game is pretty much wrapped up. And of course, I avoided some other... Like, I was mostly testing stuff that I would use on my main account. Oh, uh, like heavy weapons and the bulwark, because of course I really like the carnage. I was just curious what this guy was running. He was running a lot of the Exodus. That's... He did impressive. He got 11 kills. Or she, whatever they were. We're all faceless here. But thanks for watching.